Jared, we teased this chart uh, into the break earlier, but QDEL is one of the names when people want to, you know, play a surge in testing demand. That would be one way to play it. How are they doing? Kelly, hey, how are you? It's been a great stock over the past week. Um, you know, I've highlighted it several times in um, various communication with investors as being one of the purest um, or most logical ways to, to play what's happening, which is an insane amount of testing. Um, everyone seems incredibly concerned, right or wrong, about Omicron, and the lines are, you know, incredibly long at so many of these centers. I mean, I can really only talk for what's happening in the Northeast, but if that's indicative of what's happening everywhere else, this is one of the best ways to play it. Now, the company makes a rapid test um, for at-home use. So you can find these at CVS or Walgreens, et cetera, if you can find them. And we just feel like the interest in these, in these tests from a get back to school, from a travel standpoint, from any communication standpoint, um, even meeting a friend at a coffee shop, uh, these tests are going to be used in a big way from now until the foreseeable future. Have they gotten more effective, the at-home tests? Well, the efficacy hasn't really changed much. This is the same test that's been really available for months um, through the pandemic. But, you know, as we know, um, with these other variants that are happening and the time of year, right around the holidays when people want to see friends and family, um, the, you know, the rise of cases and the rise of infections are leading to more interest in these rapid tests. And I think they're, they're good enough to catch the vast majority of Omicron cases as well. And so this is to me, one of the most logical ways to play the pandemic at this point. You also said keep an eye on Perigo because of coughs and colds. Is that right? That's right. Like, if Omicron is truly doing what most clinicians say it's doing, which is causing a mild to moderate um, cold or flu-like symptom for the average patient who's getting it that actually has symptoms, again, this is not a huge number, but it is in, in totality when we look at um, you know, the sheer number of people who are getting it, Perigo should benefit. This is an over-the-counter medicine company, a lot of cold and cough products. J&J &J also has an element of its business, Abbott, et cetera. There are a lot of companies, but Perigo, given where the stock is trading, looked very, very interesting to play this trend. All right, and it's still down about 1.5% today, but coming up off about a 3% up week, which is something in this environment. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. Jared, thanks so much. It's good to check in with you today. Thanks, Kelly.